Welcome back, it's me Lou. I'm here for another action figure unboxing and review, and today from Bandai, in the Limit Breaker series, we are featuring Dragon Ball Super Vegeta. So this is a much larger action figure. Um, it's probably between 11 and 12 inches. It's very similar to what Hasbro and Spin Master are doing with their action figure lines. Uh, for example, uh, Hasbro has their 12 inch Titan series, and Spin Master, they make the much more larger, like, 12-inch Batman figures. Um, beautiful looking artwork on the side. As you can see, this captures Vegeta in his much more evergreen costume. Other figures um, in this wave include Goku, Jiren, Vegeta, and Goku Black. Alright, so let's get started and take this guy out. All right, so with the Limit Breaker series, you're getting a much a larger action figure than like say an Evolve five inch figure or a six inch Dragon Star figure. Um, uh, they're still really well done. You know, I know a lot of people call these kind of like this style of action figure like a shampoo bottle uh, because you know for the most part they're kind of hollow, they're large, and they're not very well articulated. Uh, for me, with the Limit Breaker series, I'm a little bit more forgiving because um, there's a lot of Dragon Ball statues that are kind of within this scale. And, you know, they're not articulated at all. So I kind of view the, the Limit Breaker series as a great alternative uh, to buying, you know, those expensive Ban Presto statues. Uh, in terms of the detail, it's, you know, pretty spot on. It looks exactly like... Uh, Vegeta, as he's well known in his Saiyan armor, uh, he has his wild hair, which is very cleanly done. Uh, the sculpting around the face is very clearly defined. You know, unlike some of the smaller action figures, you can actually make out the details around his nose and mouth. Um, the armor it looks beautiful. Uh, he retains that classic color scheme of the blue, the white, and the gold, and it's pretty cool. Um, in terms of his height, uh, Vegeta stands in at about um, 11 and 3 quarters. Uh, in terms of his articulation, his head rotates, arms move, and legs move. So you're looking at a 5 points of articulation. So these guys, they're not like super poseable. Um, I always kind of thought that these larger figures are more so intended for children. Uh, you know, that's clearly the case if you've seen Hasbro's Titan um, Heroes or the Spin Masters, their 12-inch Batmans. And I just discovered, I guess his um, gloves are articulated also at the, at the cuff. So he could rotate his uh, fists. Are the boots like that also? No. And there is no swivel at the waist. So overall, I think these are fantastic figures. You know, for their price point at like $15, I think they're a steal. Uh, like I mentioned, um, you know, there's Dragon Ball statues that are in this scale that you're paying considerably a lot more money, you know, anywhere between, you know, $40 to $100. And if you just want a nice display piece and you're not too concerned about the articulation, this is definitely for you. You know, the um, Limit Breaker line has been around for a while and they make, you know, a number of characters. So it's great. I love this line a lot. So with that being said, let's wrap this one up. Uh, once again, my name is Lou. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning viewer or subscriber, thank you so much for your continued support. I greatly appreciate it. So until the next video, be safe, take care of yourself, buy lots of toys, and most importantly, be happy. And I'll see you at the next one. All right, later.